What's up guys, it's Radek here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about one tip that has helped me and I'm absolutely sure will help you become insanely consistent with practicing English. I'm also gonna have a little gift for you, so if you want to become fluent, if you wanna be a successful English speaker, but you struggle with practicing English regularly, this video is for you. We all know that consistency equals fluency or that consistency is key. And I know, I know these sayings are really cliched and painfully obvious, but they're also undeniably true because you can have the best teachers, you can have the best resources or access to the best courses. If you're not consistent with practicing, you will never become fluent. So here is my tip for you today, guys track your consistency. It's a very simple yet powerful thing. Even though it may seem like not a big deal, it has multiple benefits. So let me tell you about two most important ones. Number one, research shows that this simple habit can improve your consistency by up to 65%, which is mind blowing. And number two, it will keep you motivated and focused on your daily tasks because you will not want to mess up your successful streak so you'll be way more likely to practice even if you don't feel like it. And I know this from my own experience. Now, in order to help you put this information into practice right away, I've created Consistency Calendar. Just go to the link in the description, download it for free, print it out and start tracking your consistency. And now I'm gonna tell you exactly how I use it. Some of you already know that every single morning I create my win list and I've made an entire video about my win list method, what, a, what the win list is or how I use it or how it has changed my language learning journey. So you can watch it right here, but I'm gonna describe it here as well, but just briefly. Basically, I write down three to five actionable tasks that I have to get done by the end of the day. Now, if I have completed all the tasks that I was supposed to do on a given day, I put the green check mark on the calendar, which basically means that I've done everything I was supposed to do and I won the day. I put the red X on the calendar when I didn't complete all the tasks for a given day through my own fault, uh, which includes uh, laziness, poor planning, or not prioritizing my tasks. And last but not least, I mark the black dash or the black hyphen, whatever you want to call it, uh, when I didn't complete my goals because of some emergency or unexpected situation that was not my fault. Uh, so for example, emergency at work or illness, God forbid, things like that. So guys, I've just given you an incredible tool that you can take and use it to your advantage. And let me tell you something, when I look at my calendar, I feel incredibly proud of myself because I know that like, it's undeniable proof that I'm going in the right direction. And I know that every single check mark that I put on my calendar gets me closer to my goals. Okay guys, that's it in this video. I hope you'll give the consistency calendar a try. Again, the link is in the description. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the likes, all the comments, for all your support. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Consistency calendar, consistency calendar, consistency calendar. I just realized that I messed up the month order here. April comes before May. What the hell is wrong with me?